Welcome to the Tiny Artist. Today, we're gonna make a piece of art out of things you can find around your house. So you're gonna need some paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls. You're gonna need scissors, something to measure with, some glue, something to write with, and some backing paper, any color you want. I chose black uh, cardstock and a gift box or shoe box or maybe even a Kleenex box. So here we go. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your paper towel roll and smash it. You're smashing it so that it's nice and flat so you can measure. So now I have a cutting mat which already has measurements on it for me which is really handy. So I'm just gonna take my marker which I've already done this, and I'm going to mark every half inch. So pretend I've already done that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cut it up all the way down till I've used the whole thing up. Now what that gives me are a bunch of hoops or circles like this. So I can leave those as circles or I can smash them and make them look like petals or footballs, whatever you want them to be. I can glue the ends together, and I could actually take this all the way around to make a circular pattern, like a mandala. I can take them and fold them in half and then glue them so they look like little petals or leaves, and I could put them in a pattern or a design. I could then take a hoop, cut it at one end, and then um, shape that and manipulate its, its, uh, its shape by making a swirl or maybe even an S shape. So as you can see, you can do some really interesting things with just the idea of line. Once you've done that, I want you to lay them down on your colorful piece of paper that's already been cut to fit into the bottom of your box. Once you've done that, uh, put it down and start arranging it in, into an interesting pattern however you, that might be for you. So if I just start arranging these shapes any way that I want. Maybe I don't want to use that one. Okay, so I think I kind of have something here. All right, so I'm not glued it down, so it might just totally slide off. So here we go. So here we go. I have an interesting pattern or uh, creation design. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to then make sure that it's the right shape to go in the bottom of my box. I'm going to then take the lid of my gift box and I'm gonna cut out the center. Now, you already have an excellent template because look at that. So I'm gonna cut that out. Voila, it's gone. So once I've done that, I'm gonna take my design that I've already made and I'm gonna put it into the bottom of my box. So I'm gonna stick it into the bottom of my box. I'll put my lid back on and there you have it. A very interesting piece of art that you can sit on your desk or hang on a wall, but I think it's a really creative process for kids to just get into finding things around the house and making a shadow box for art that you can have around your home. Thank you for joining the Tiny Artist. Always remember, enjoy creating and never give up.